Hey guys, this is for your weekly uh, forecast for the 1st of July 2019 for all the signs. Now, this week it looks like there is a decision to be made financially in your career, finances and study. Now, there has been an offer of some sort. I got these cards out together, but I'm going to put that with our home. But I feel like this is tied into our home. Now, if this is about a mortgage or about taking a job position, you're humming and hiring which way is best for me. I need to be able to uh, commit to this. This is about my um, my salary. This is a way that I'm working towards being self-sufficient. This is a way where I can be self-reliant as well. This is about what I own, what I owe, and what I value in a job. Now, this is also about balance. Now, if this is about a position you've been offered, which is different for the hours that you've worked before, you're trying to look at how this is best going to be in a balance for life for you. You know, time has changed now. I don't feel like I need to work 24 hours a day or seven days a week and I really have been struggling or it's been a really busy time and I do need some time off. I need some time away from my work so I do need to find that work-life balance. This is also saying that there might be some uh, counts, gains, a uh, tricky situation that you need to juggle. For some of you this is where I am at work and maybe someone's away or maybe you've been um, asked to do more duties than you normally do because you're wearing an awful lot of hats here. For others, this is about, okay, your ship is coming in, so you've been waiting for that information to do with these funds. You're waiting for a yes. You're waiting for investments return. You're waiting on money owed to you. Whatever it is that you're waiting on, the ship is coming in. Now, you'll also hear about more gains in the future, but you will hear that quite close to what you've already done. Now, this is also about working as part of a team, joining the firm, and collaborating with somebody else. But this is karmic. This might be something you've worked towards. You might have lost your job, and now you do have have an opportunity to work for somewhere else and so that shock of losing your job you might find that this is a lucky opportunity where you are a lot happier you've got more hours you're closer to home better hours for you and your family now this is something to do with how you're going to move forward with your home. Now, first of all, this could be a mortgage. So I'm going with whichever company will be best for me about the payments, uh, the interest involved, uh, which one is going to be best in securing the home for me. For others, this is I've had the opportunity of an offer to be able to live with somebody else or I am extending that offer to somebody else. This is also about like I said, buying a house, uh, divine intervention, this is a, a one, so this is a new journey, and we're walking down the path to what our future is going to look like. So this is one of the first legs of our journey to be able to get there. Now, this is also about a promise, a promise within a love relationship or a promise within the family. Now, if I look at your love, we do have a yes. Now, this could be with a childhood love. This could be um, something you've been waiting for. It's balancing those scales. So maybe you've been waiting for it for a a while and now you get that offer and you are going to say yes. With your health, you do have the mindset where you're absolutely exhausted. You've got money on your mind. You've got family on your mind. You're absolutely exhausted. Now, for some of you, this is about family. If you're running a family or your own family or you've inherited something in your uh, from your family, you are in a rut right now and there must be a change here. If it's about, um, so your your money or your health is, is on your mind all the time and it's making you walk slower. It's making you be stuck more in the home. Um, this card is saying, look, we do need to make a change and it needs to happen quite quickly. Now the four is uterus, digestion, breast, stomach and womb. So this is about, um, you, you've got to have that comeback. You've got to uh, know where you are and, and maybe the results of what you're waiting on to get that solid footing so that you can get out of that rut. Maybe it's, I don't know what's keeping me low, what's keeping me tired. I don't know where this is coming from, but I just feel exhausted. So some of you, this might be uh, anxiety, depression, or stress. Again, with our love, we do have the... Um, Six of Pentacles. This is a yes. This is with, and so is this, uh, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn, uh, Sun, Moon, or Rising. Now, this is a balance of the scale. So this could be I'm moving in with someone, so you're saying yes, or you're asking them. This could be a proposal of some sort, but this is a beautiful card. Now, it does nod back to my childhood. Maybe it's your childhood dream. You know, I meet the person of my life. Um, you're very, very happy, and you've got this proposal in your life of some sort. 
thought but this is a very happy card it's a yes card and it's got childhood naivety and great uh, love and expectations around that this does have a nod to do with charity as well not sure how that works in your love life but do need to mention that now your adoring virtue messages from the angels is So patience, now's the time to learn, study, gather information, enjoy being a student because in the future you will synthesize your knowledge into action. So I'm going to go with the finances and the you know, final firm decision that you're going to go with. You might go back and forth because as we go into July, um, there is going to be Mercury retrograde where things will be flipped on their head. There will be some U-turns, um, delays, uh, reversals. This is going to be one of those ones where maybe people will get the wrong end of the stick. Maybe the details will be a little bit wrong. Um, you know, maybe maybe the house you've been looking for or the amount of money, you know, they're, uh, they're correcting that, you know, something to do with that. So you've got to do your homework. Now, also with your uh, health as well, what have you inherited from family? Is this to do with your heart? Is this to do with your stomach, uterus, um, breasts? Is this um, something that's handed down in the, in the generations? Is this you with stress, anxiety and depression around your home, holding everything together? So you do need to look into it. Maybe Eastern and Western medication used together um, or any kind of, uh, you know, exercise or whatever. You know, acupuncture, you know, those kinds of things will help you. So you've got to look around and find that. And be patient. Things are going to become clear. You might find that this Mercury Retrograde works for you because if you're forced to do something, you'll find that it works really well or that this is back on the table. Maybe it's been inflamed and maybe you'll get the answers now. Caution. Caution is here. Don't take the first offer you're given. Give yourself 48 hours. For some of you, it's 72 hours. I hear 72 hours. You are going to find that uh, you'll get the offer that you want. You're going to find that this is more valuable for you. You're going to find that more details are available. So be kind to you and those you love. And from Jedi side, Jake, may the force be with you.